Read on. Read on. <laughs> Read on. Read on. Personally, I when people ask, you know, who are your greatest writing teachers, I always think of the storytellers of my childhood. Read on. 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 I started writing out of necessity in the sense that I was writing to bring, give context to an experience that uh, most people did not know anything about, but yet we had a lot of people writing about it and I wanted to correct some of Read on. 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 I'm looking for something that's gonna teach me about what it means to be human. And um, um, I'm always looking for, you know, some line in a book that's really gonna sort of like be a bomb in my heart that I'm gonna take it with me and then I'm gonna remember it like five years from now. Like I remember lines from Beloved, I remember lines from Women Hollering Creek. Um, and those are the things that I carry with me. Read on. Read on. <laughs> Read on. 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 Read on, everyone. I feel that all my sensibility, although I love classics, and part of my sensibility comes from this huge other piece, the part that made me a writer, came from contemporary voices. Voices like, you know, who, who are interacting with that tradition sometimes, but oftentimes not interacting, coming from all kinds of different traditions. Read on. 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 So read on. Read on. Read on. Read on. Read on.